Welcome back to Power BI Helpline YouTube channel. Today in this video, we are going to show you how you can easily insert bulk data into database from Power Query Editor. If you are new to this channel, then please subscribe and hit the bell icon for all such interesting topics in Power BI. With that, let's check it out. So here we have this table with product ID and name. We have also created a product table into our SQL Server database. Currently there is no record in this table, and we are going to insert all the data from Power Query to this table with just one click. Let's insert one row in this table manually to verify. First of all, from Power Query Editor, we need to disable one setting from Options and Settings, which is to disable the checkbox which says Require User Approval for New Native Database Query. Now let's connect to the SQL database and convert the connection to a Power Query custom function. In our previous video, we explain all about custom functions, you can check out the video by clicking on above link. Here we are using a select statement, but later we are going to convert that to an insert statement, and we'll invoke this function to the list of values. Now we will open the advanced editor of Power Query Editor, here Power Query records all the operations or transformations into corresponding M code. Converting this query to a custom function, which will be invoked into our list of records. As that you can see, our custom function has been created, but before invoking this function, let's add a column to our table, which will be insert statement for each row, but it will dynamically take the product ID and name from the same row. We will use the same insert command, but the values will be parameterized, and we are going to use text.from function, and will pass the required column names in its argument. To refer the column names, we need to cover the column names within a square bracket. We will also write an additional select statement for a custom message, which verify that rows are inserted to the table or there is any error. Now we are going to invoke our custom function in an additional column of the table. Function has been invoked, let's check into our database and see if the records are inserted or not. And here we go, all the records has been inserted, but there is a problem, if you will refresh the query, it will try to insert the records again. And since we have mentioned here ID as unique, it will throw an error. We will apply an error handling approach using try and catch, so that, even if refreshed with the same data, it will not insert the records or will not throw errors, and then we will add some more records and refresh the query again and see if it's working. This is an approach to load the data to SQL, but for a proper ETL operations, you should always prefer ETL tools like Azure Data Factory or others. For some small such requirements, you can use Power Query Editor as well. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for more such interesting topics in Power BI.